What's up friends, this is Money and the 10.0 anniversary update is here uh, with a new kick-ass robot, the Pathfinder or how many of you guys call it down in the comment section, the Wallet Finder, that's right. Uh, a new robot together with new weapons and a whole new set of nasty, annoying abilities. Like for example, a lockdown per button press that you can see right there, uh, together with, you know, the active module running, allowing a shield break, making a dagger pretty useless, honestly, and uh, also adding this mark on the enemy that provides you and every one of your teammates with the ability to deal increased damage against that target and if you kill it or if you assist killing it under that target's influence um, or under that mark's influence then you and your teammates who have participated in that kill will gain damage boosts and speed boosts that lasts until the end of the match so highly lucrative to do these kind of things and way too lucrative at that if you ask me um what if the why why can't or why wasn't it made so that the bonus would just last for let's say 30 seconds or so right and but yeah until the end of the match i mean that seems pretty crazy to me and these weapons are just as crazy and i'm showing this here to you guys to to make you aware what the robot can do how it will probably make a game's difficulty for uh, difficult for you when you don't have it and you're running into it and how you can theoretically also use it yourself if you get your hands on one um and uh yeah see here perfectly countering the enemy uh a mute battleship by using my own uh free uh <laughs> get get your get your robot out of uh, effect jail card uh, battleship thing um, and see, even a, a Rook Titan isn't really much to worry about when you're running these grenade cannons now. Um, these weapons have a splash radius, they have a s even greater s freezing, bump freeze, mm, bump freeze splash radius, so to speak, right? So they freeze bomb effect everything around uh, the bomb effect explosion, similar to what the um, regular bomb effect weapon Scourger, for example, does, but not with freezing. Um, but just the explosion and of course they fire 600 meters far in an arc around or above cover that isn't happening when you're shooting at short range but we fire when you fire at longer ranges you can shoot over cover um, one thing I let you know here is this is recorded on the test server so nobody here has pilot skills so it's even more fair if you will because nobody has better pilot skills than anybody else we all don't have pilot skills so You'll, you'll be running around faster, or these Pathfinders will be running around faster with even more HP, even more damage output, right? So, um, but it's it's not, you know, ridiculous amounts of difference because it will still play like this, but it will be even more. Uh, and that is uh, crazy because what you can see here is already pretty insane. Uh, also, we're running the Frizo drone, which uh, is also added with the 10.0 update. And what it does, it when you apply effects, I'll show you the setup in a sec after this match. When you apply effects to your enemy uh, with the freezing, then you'll gain uh, additional resistance. And when the suppression that you do when somebody shoots you, oh, I forgot, yeah. The robot also passively suppresses you when you shoot it, because why not? Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, when that wears off or when it happens, oh God, it's getting so complicated, um, then there's another uh, bonus involved. I'll show you in a sec. Um, but yeah, so things are getting a little more complicated. Uh, and yeah, mm, a little more powerful too. Um, one thing, the weapon does have a six, seven seconds or eight seconds reload time, so you will be spending some time reloading with that weapon too. Uh, but, you know, it, it also fires an insane amount of damage output before that reload triggers. So you can buy basically, once you have the nuclear amp stacked and you have the kills five times or whatever made to stack the maximum amount of speed boost and uh, damage boost from uh, killing targets under the influence of that ability, then you'll be able to basically kill anything in one clip. Um, at least robots. Maybe not every Titan, but uh, regular robots you will. For example, a full invader, uh, ultimate invader, you can just drop him in one magazine. Um, and that is pretty insane. And again, you can fire over cover. So the whole 
package is something serious. It is a serious package what you have here, uh, not needing line of sight, having a freeze effect built in, having the incredible damage output per cycle damage, relatively short reload, and then all these effects, lockdown per button press, the additional damage on the enemy, um, and then the counter suppression that triggers passively when you get shot, uh, the mobility you gain over time when making kills, and the team play element as a support kind of assassin. It's a support assassin, if you will, um, with this ability. Um, and I'm not sure why, but every time I say killing or doing things under the influence, I think of Trevor, Trevor Phillips <laughs> in GTA V um, because of that mission. <laughs> not sure if you know what I mean, but if you do know, I'm sure you're having a good laugh. Um, in this mission, you're, you know, um, stacking crates with um, with a f automated fork machine thingy, <laughs> uh, and it's a it's super funny mission. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd give you an update on what is all involved with this uh, robot and the drone. Uh, again, I'll show you the second just uh, the setup in a minute. Um, and it because it, it, it gets a little confusing, I think. Look, I'm having 500k HP now. How did that even happen? Um, oh, I can tell you because a durability extenders from the battleship. Now it's 550,000. Oh boy. So a whopping 8.6 million damage on the test server. Chion is the weapon that we were running here um, together with the Pathfinder. 6,000 damage per shot, 7 seconds reload. Unstable, of course, makes it crazier. Um, nuclear amp, always a half to on any damage dealing setup. And then the Frizo drone that restores gray HP with the counter suppression uh, when it drops. And then defense points when you apply the suppression freeze or whatever effect. Dude, this is insane. Uh, and it is such a package of a freaking one, one in all jack of all trades kind of robot um, that, that I don't know. Look, even these electrical weapons from a crisis robot didn't even do a lot of damage because we simply had and we still do have so much resistance from applying the effects with the Frizo drone. So while of course you can run this setup with many drones different drones. You could run that with the Pascal drone to boost your damage even further um, if you want yet another layer of stacking damage boosts to shine for you. Or you run the Frizo drone how it's intended where you, with the applying of that effect, um, constantly uh, get yourself additional resistance that is so high that dealing damage to you is really difficult unless you have something that breaks resistance or ignores it. So it is a tanky assassin that increase that provides support abilities for you and your team that last through the entire match while constantly being able to negatively impact the enemy playstyle with negative effects such as lockdown and suppression and and all of that either passively or per button press um, and yeah I, I don't know it's just it's just the jack of all trades wonder worker right basically right. Um, and yeah, once again, one of those type of things that I don't think the game needed, uh, but that the game got at <laughs> anyways. And uh, since, yeah, I'm preparing this video before the update, I'm planning to release it when the update is live. Um, as a little bit of a heads up, what's about to come, what you might be seeing on the battlefield now. Hopefully you guys enjoy that and, uh, and have some use of this video. Mm. It also serves as a bit of a feedback session for Pixonic to... I don't know, you know, I guess it's kind of too late now, but we have sent this feedback earlier too. Uh, but to perhaps uh, rethink at least some of the elements of this, um, for example, the passive suppression. I would argue that there is really no need for that. I mean, this thing has so much going for itself right now. Why does it have this same annoying thing that the Newton also had, that the Newton also didn't need the passive suppression? Um, always adding one extra on top that is so much over the top and too much that it just gets ridiculous, you know? Why always like this? Come on. Um, could you try at least... Look, I'm killing something I wasn't even aiming at. Um, could you at least try to make it seem like you're, you know, opting for something <laughs> that works with the game's mechanics? Um, because that active module, for example, clearly doesn't. That was a dagger and he goes down without his shield working at all. Um, and a dagger without his shields is basically just 
uh, a little glass cannon that dies very quickly, right? Mm. And I, I did, however, see this increased shield play. Like, you, you know this feeling, right? When you start into a match, maybe you're running hurricanes or, or something that can reach the enemy, or you're just planning your first move, and you ch cycle through the enemy targets, and you see five out of six targets are having Ansel shields now. Dagons, Typhons, um, whatever, you know, uh, or weapon or robots with harpoon weapons having that, and um, like somehow everybody has a, 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 an Aegis shield built in. And, and you're like, hmm, I can't really deal damage to them, so you're trying to shoot that one target that doesn't have it, and, um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, so that guy's an Ophion, and you shoot him and he has a purple shield. So, <laughs> you, 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 so I do see why Pixonic might be experimenting with something that uh, allows you to bypass the shields, but nonetheless, this is basically like a problem that was created, and now the solution, or like the problem that was sold, and now the solution to the problem is sold separately. Um, also, another little idea. Maybe you could not allow Shen Luz to exist on the test server. <laughs> I appreciate that you can kind of only have one. But I just had one attacking me. There's the next pop. Alright, I thankfully got rid of it with my team. Uh, so I'm like, Phew, I survived the Shen Lu. Thankfully I can continue recording my video. And pop, doesn't take five seconds for the next Shen Lu to arrive. Thankfully, we got rid of it. I was like, oh man, I am lucky as heck. So now let me retreat so that the next Chen Lu does not jump on me. And um, <clears throat> oops, there it is. Boom. Chen Lu number three. With, of course, always exactly the same weapon setup. Because why would you run anything other than this specific one thing? Uh, and yeah, just my feedback. I believe Chen Lu's on the test server are a little counterproductive. Because they, you know they make testing of certain things kind of impossible to a certain point. At least when you're unfortunate enough to get jumped on by multiple ones of those, uh, it gets kind of dumb. Um, maybe uh, the Shen Lu should not be in the offers tab uh, on the test server. I don't know, just an idea. Anyways, let's keep going. We're fighting against the other same setup on the other side there. And you clearly saw we were basically no longer dealing a lot of damage to each other at some point because the resistance from the Frizo drone kicked in. And uh, yeah, and there's heavy resistance at work there. Crazy. Mm. Oh, good cappuccino, that's right. Mm. If you would taste this, you would probably think it's disgusting because it's so sweet. Um, I'm not really a coffee drinker, but if I have just enough milk and sugar in it, I can drink it and enjoy it. <laughs> it's it's a, basically a... Um, a seal kind of thing almost. Yeah. Oh god, look. Another poor Dagon went down without any of his shield acting uh, working. So he, he lived for what? One and a half seconds or two? That shouldn't really be happening. Um, I was asked in a recent live stream, maybe it's empty video like this. I was asked, Manny, what would you think about a war robot that didn't have any negative effects whatsoever? My response was that. It, while I hate negative effects, I love it when they come from a robot. Big, big, or, or when it's the robot ability, I feel like it is really well placed. For example, a Raker or a Typhon that can black you out as a very unique special playstyle and ability. And I would really miss it so much if it wasn't there. However, that is only like 5% of the actual effects running in the game now. The other 95% are being applied passively from weapons or being applied passively by robots, abilities of robots or... Not abilities of robots, um, abilities of drones and battleships. And like, this is now 95% of like the negative effects that happen in the game. Um, and I feel like those are the ones that are too much, in my opinion. Because uh, people were thinking about this too during my last live stream, and we were kind of considering what could you do about it, uh, or what would be a better uh, thing. Mm, and I feel like uh, an Ares with his shield is awesome, and the Daymater shield. But constantly having shields with everything, you know, with battleships, or same goes with all these effects, that is where it gets too much for me. But let me know what you think. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a good time, and um, that is now. Uh, or supposed to be in the game. Thanks for watching. See you around. Catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.